Hi everyone and welcome to a new CodeFriend video in which I will show you how to use ragdolls in Unity. If the term ragdoll doesn't ring any bell to you, well, in reality you have already seen it many many times in video games. Ragdoll is a procedural animation technique. Today it is very often used to replace traditional deaf animations because they have the advantage of being closer to reality than pre-calculated animations. In other words, the ragdoll is what you have been seeing on the screen for a few seconds. The body becomes a dead weight and it is being swept away by the environment. Today there are a lot of games that use the ragdoll physics. Some other games, like Fall Guys, attract a lot of new players when it came out with its simplistic, and colorful universe, but also because of its funny physics system. But in reality, the ragdoll technique is much older. We first seen it back in 1998 with Jurassic Park Trespasser. Today I will be showing you how to create and set up ragdolls in Unity and you will see that it is not particularly complicated because Unity does include a tool to easily turn any character into a ragdoll. Let's start with two examples I made for this video. The first example is the simplest one. We have a character standing above a few obstacles. The ragdoll is enabled by default, which means that if I press play, the physics system will do its job. The character has no movement strength, it is a dead weight, so it will be carried away by the environment. Now let's see a bit more interesting example. There is a cannon shooting projectiles outside of the camera's FOV. And when a projectile hits the character, he will turn into a ragdoll. Those two examples are using ragdoll physics or ragdoll animations. If you're interested in downloading those two scenes, those two examples, there is a GitHub link in the description. Now let's move on to the tutorial. Obviously, we'll need a character. Not so long ago, I made a video about Mixamo, a website on which you can download hundreds of characters and animations for free. The character I'll be using today for this example comes from the Mixamo catalog. I've also imported it in my project and in my scene. Now that my character is ready to be set up for Ragdoll, I can go in Game Object, 3D Object, Ragdoll. This window will appear and ask us for the different body parts of our characters. Humanoid characters are almost always built the same way. There may be one or the other difference, but all of them can be set up as Ragdolls, as long as they are rigged. So we can open our character in the hierarchy and we should find a parent object that will contain all of the character's body part. For me, it's called Mixamo Rig Hips, but depending on where your character is from, this object could be named differently. So you might need to play with the words for this tutorial. Here, the window is asking for the pelvis of my character, but in my case, it's actually called hips. The gizmo is a good indication to find easily the different body parts you need. Then in left hips for my character, I'll drag left up leg, which according to the gizmo again is actually the left hip of my character. Then inside left up leg, I have left leg, which roughly corresponds to the knee of my character, so I can drop it in the right slot. Let's continue. Inside the leg, I can find left foot. No need to play with words here, so we can just drag it in the window. And we can now do the exact same thing with the right leg of our character. We now have to deal with the upper body parts, which are usually all located under an object called spine. In my case, I have three spine spots, a low, medium, and a high one. We now want to find the arm. Those are usually located under shoulder, 
you can then drag it into the right variable of the window. Inside it, I have a forearm, which should actually be named elbow. So again, a little play with word thing. And again, now we can do the exact same thing for the opposite part of our character. Now that both sides are complete, we have to indicate where is the spine. As I said, for my character, I have three of them, but it doesn't really matter which one you pick. And finally, the head, which should be located under an object called neck. Once all the body parts have been filled in, you can leave the last fields with their default values and click on create. You can then select the parent object in the hierarchy and you should have a result similar to mine. We should have a few colliders around our character's arms, legs, head and body. If you don't have the same thing as me, for example, a missing or a misplaced collider, you probably assigned a wrong body part at some point, so I'd suggest you restart the setup. Remember to deactivate or delete any animators that could be present on your character. They can block the ragdoll from working, so don't forget about them. And now all you have to do is press play. Your character should just fall on the ground. And that's it. There is nothing more to do. Unity and its setup tool did all the work for us, so you can now play around with your ragdoll. The various colliders that have been automatically added on the character can be adjusted. If you feel like the collisions are not realistic enough, don't hesitate to manually adapt the colliders sizes. Again, I suggest you download the two examples I showed in the introduction. You can find a GitHub link in the description to download the entire project. And I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon for more tutorials. Code friend out.